with the chat GPT, I think having tried it with the other class, um, I do think 10 minutes will be enough amount of time. The only question is, well, how well will chat GPT do? So let me do this. Uh, I'm going to just uh, have chat GPT set up side by side so that I can go through this as quickly as I can, um, like uh, someone who's cheating with chat GPT and see, uh, by the way, so I am doing this as your instructor, as a demo for you, the students. Uh, if you do what I'm doing, that is literally cheating. So please don't do that. Um, and we'll see how well chat GPT does. And then I will go through the questions um, after having gone through it with the chat GPT so that I can give you the correct answers. Um, so, so you won't be stuck with the chat GPT's wrong answer, but we'll start by seeing how well chat GPT does. Um, so let me start. Uh, so we are starting at 12.06. I gotta watch the time to make sure that I um, do this right. Uh, I mean, do this within time. Uh, I have a feeling that chat GPT will probably answer this question right. So you do have to kind of do a little bit of editing. I, okay, I'm not giving you advice on how to use ChatGPT um, because you shouldn't be using it. Again, okay, it's cheating. If you, you if you use it, it's cheating. Um, but I'm going to just uh, see you know where the uh, try it out to see where the state of the art is. Now with the questions with the uh, images. Um, not that I'm giving you advice on how to cheat. Um, they have uh, accessibility features. So anytime there's an image, there's a um, um, description that um, a screen reader can use. So different diagram uh, below. Diagram. Wait. Oh, wait. Um. Oh, I see. Actually, it already copied the text, so I think I can. Just leave that be. Velocity V towards uh, angle theta with the horizontal. So I'm doing a little bit more work than what a really lazy cheating student might do because I'm making sure the question text I copy and paste are um, make sense because some elements of these don't copy well and this has been copied correctly. So all right. Uh, it's not starting out with the answer. Both of the, is it B? Oh, should be okay. Yeah, again, I'm uh, play acting as cheating student. Uh, I'm not reading ChatGPT's response. I'm just watching out for uh, what's the answer. It's for someone who's cheating. That's really the only question they care about. And because I'm not really reading the answer, I don't, I'm not at the moment making a judgment to call on whether these uh, responses are correct or not. I'm not even reading at that level to figure that out. But uh, after we are done, we'll see how many questions ChatGPT got right and, uh, and I will um, correct any ones that it didn't get right. Once that it got right, I guess you can still uh, have gotten it right uh, for the wrong reasons, but um, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that sounds wrong. Um, I'm, or, yeah, I'm, I'll come back and read it uh, more carefully because uh, I want to make sure I don't run out of time. Disk of mass, uh, yeah. And the one thing I've seen when I was trying ChatGPT with my other class is that it does uh, do worse on the math questions. It'll give you correct steps most of the time, but it won't be able to follow its own correct steps to actually get the correct answer. Or sometimes it'll get an answer, none of the answers are in the choice, and it'll just choose something at random instead of critically thinking through the question because it frankly can't. It's a large language model. It doesn't actually critically think through anything. It, it just, there's a trained text and there's some, um, like it doesn't think. It's not a thing that uh, large language models do. All right, mass 2.5 kilogram has a position at 3x head. And a 6.5 y hat. 
meters at a particular instant, and the velocity is three x equal to three x eight um, meters per second. What is the angular momentum L? I forgot the origin. Okay. L is equal to 4.8, uh, 48.8 y hat. Um, I think I can just leave that be. Um, the, it's missing the. Um, it's missing the exponent for meter squared, but it's common enough of a convention that I think uh, um, ChatGPT actually understands it fine. Um, L is equal to 2.5. X hat. L is equal to 19.5 C hat. All right. When it's not starting out with the answer, it takes a little bit more time. Oh, I gotta go faster, I think. All right, uh, let's hope it, it copy. <laughs> Actually, let me skip this for now because copying and pasting, that's going to take so much time. Um, so, and I think, yeah, yeah, the figure is doing fine. I have to say with F1, with F2, then with F3. F1. Or to the left. So I'll just double check that it, it says the answer is A. Or, yeah, it doesn't ever say that. It's fine. I think I've gotten enough of it. Inverse tile effect. All right. A. All right, this is the last question, and I think I have uh, like three minutes left. So I think that will be enough time to uh, copy and paste that other question that was going to take a while for me to just type in the mathematical expressions because it won't copy over right. All right, so let's double check how much time I have. Yeah, three minutes or so. So I think the thing to do with this question is to copy this and then just type in the choices. Uh, this N has radius R, then what it's X L, stands high H, H less than R. What is the minimum for safety? Yeah. Okay. So F is equals M G R H C F equals M G time F times the square root of H to R minus H divided by R minus H is equal to M G times R divided by H. It will be interesting if we get to it right, because um, I mean, I think I might have enough time to tell you uh, how to get the correct answer here. I have, yeah, minute and a half. So the church if it will give an answer and um, I will select it and then tell you if it's right or not. Okay, that's not right. One, uh, you can judge based on units. This is not even correct to unit for force. So um, if you look through the choices, 
there should there's only two choices that have correct unit of force. Uh, this is one of them, mg times a unitless number. And I think this one, uh, wait, no, not this one, uh, this one, mg times, and here I have meter squared, square rooted, divided by meter. So this, so it, your choice is between these two. And um, I guess the thing to th think through is how this force should depend on H. As H is smaller or larger, should F be larger or smaller? This one says it should be larger because H is on the denominator. This says it should be maybe smaller through the H's that are in the numerator. And, um, and yeah, and, and um, hopefully your intuition says that it, it's the choice that tells you that uh, H is the the with um, so I'll work this out um, after the time limit has run out. Um, so it should be this, and um, you know, ChatGPT doesn't know that. All right, sixty percent. So you know, this is in the range where I do worry because if you're just guessing randomly, um, people guessing randomly will get two to three, three out of ten right. So some person might think, oh, 60, that's better than what I could do. So let's get that by cheating. And I guess, you know, what I will say is um, the, there's a reason the way the grading system for this class is set up the way it is. Because um, people who um, don't show a B level or A level understanding um, in like in real time setting, but can only do that in written work. Yeah, you are not getting B or A. Or um, before I give you that B or A, uh, we'll have that one on one meeting. So you will have to demonstrate in real time that uh, what's shown is your own understanding, not something else's, not someone else's. So let me just go through this now because I, as a test student, I have same access that you do. Uh, I don't actually know right away what's which one's correct and which one's not. I just know ChatGPT got six out of 10, right? So let me just keep tally of correct and incorrect answers so that um, I can, this can act as a checksum. I can double check that I'm <laughs> getting this correctly. So the first question, uh, choose the statement below, which correctly defines or describes store with a greater R. Yeah, that sounds correct. So that's the correct answer, one. Uh, let's look at the next one. Solid disc and roll, roll velocity V, making angle. Rolling without slipping, as they both roll. So, um, because the ring has greater rotational inertia, it has greater total kinetic energy. Uh, they have the same translational kinetic energy. It's a matter of which one has more rotational kinetic energy. So they, at the very top, they both have zero kinetic energy. So um, so all, all, all of their initial kinetic energies turn into potential energy. It's a matter of, um, um, so it's a matter of which one has greater energy to start. So the answer here is the ring rolls up to higher height. Uh, so ChatGPT got this one wrong. The ring rolls up to higher height because it has larger rotational inertia and that matters because larger rotational inertia means greater rotational kinetic energy at the bottom. So that's uh, one incorrect answer. Let's keep going. Uh, just as Newton's three laws apply to linear motion. One of the, okay. Um, let's just look at ChatGPT's answer first. Angular acceleration is proportional to net torque. And um, yeah, that's correct. So yeah, let me just leave that be. I think uh, it gave some explanation about the uh, uh, other ones being incorrect and I'll just assume that they are somehow right or right enough. Um, question four. Uh, angular momentum not conserved. Yeah, I think this is not right because um, so the figure skater will spin up and that's from the result from the angular momentum conservation. So um, uh, the correct choice here by which we mean situation where angular momentum is not conserved is the precession. The entire phenomenon of precession occurs because of the torque due to gravity, which changes the angular momentum of the bicycle wheel. So we've got that incorrect. 
Let's look at question five. Oh, let's see. This curves a mass radius mass attached it slides gradual to the center. Yeah. So total angular momentum is conserved, and maybe the surprising thing you'll find that the rotational kinetic energy isn't conserved. Um. So for all of this to happen, something must be doing work. So yeah. And angular momentum conserved. Wow, it got it right. Yeah, this curve will spin faster than its initial speed. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, I kind of yeah. So th that so this is correct. So it got it correct. I'm actually surprised. Um, um, yeah. I wish I had a re read the explanation to see if the explanation was right. <laughs> So let's see here, particle of mass. Um, so I didn't. I don't know if uh, uh, um, the the not say right. <laughs> Chat GPT did the uh, cross product correctly. So when you do cross product, uh, so the um, the expression for angular momentum is R cross P, or in terms of the quantities that are here, that would be R cross mass times velocity. So when you do cross product to R and V, really what you have to worry about is the, the components that are not parallel, like cross product of this and this will give you zero. So you don't even have to worry about it. Um, the only component of R that will contribute to cross product is this, minus 6.5 cross, so minus 6.5 y hat cross 3x hat and if i remember my cross product right minus y cross x should give you um, g hat plus g hat yeah yeah <laughs> and then the numerical portion because these two are perpendicular to each other it should be um, 19.5 and i'm multiplying that to the mass 2.5 so like between two and three. So it should be, oh wow, you got it correct. Huh, wow. So yeah, it's not, I did say earlier that ChatGPT tends to mess up on the math. Um, not always, <laughs> some math it gets it right. <laughs> yeah, all right, uh, so um, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I mean, um, Again, use of ChatGPT is, uh, especially for timed assessment, is forbidden, and use of ChatGPT is academic dishonest. Uh, so the rule I would say is that whatever help or tool you are using, you shouldn't feel comfortable telling me that you used it. Whatever it is that you don't feel comfortable telling me that you are using it, the reason you are feeling uncomfortable telling me is because it's cheating. <laughs> So I think that's a kind of stable role to go by. Then whatever tool it is using, if you're hiding its use from me, then it's uh, it's not going to be correct. So here I was saying that this is going to be the correct answer. And let me demonstrate. I will write out and... So I'm not going to actually do a detailed solution. I think there's actually a video of me doing that. So you can watch that if you want a detailed solution. Here I'm... Uh, showing you a, a, a approach that will give you the correct answer in the you know one minute per question that you have so you have an expression that says a force is mg times let me write this up square root of h times r minus h divided by r minus h so there are two tests that you can do pretty quickly to figure out if the answer has no chance of being right. The first test is a dimensional analysis. And by dimensional analysis, what I mean is check units. So um, I can use a little bit of a shortcut, mg. I recognize that as an expression for weight. So this already has unit of Newton, meaning uh, well, let me not write it in a way that's confusing to me. Uh, this already has unit of Newton. So whatever else is there must be unitless. So this must be unitless. And when you look at all the other choices with that in mind, this is not unitless. This is not unitless. 
and this, when you look at it carefully, you will figure out it's not unilist. So these first three choices can possibly be right. The only choices that have any possibility of being right is either the fourth or the fifth one. And that's where the second approach comes in. Second approach is you look at limits. As in, you look at um, the limiting case. So the kind of the popular choices are one where um, some you know uh, parameter like x going to zero, or going to infinity, or going to some special value. Like uh, here, one example would be, what if our h was going to r? That would be on. Uh, because I see r minus h in the denominator, um, so it would be kind of a special value to look at, see what interesting thing happens. And I think the thing that uh, that I was considering before is the scenario where h is going to zero. And that scenario for this choice here, I can see that uh, for this choice, f goes to infinity as uh, h goes to zero. It's in the denominator, so as this number gets smaller and smaller, f will blow up to infinity. Here, it takes a little more finesse, I think. Um, well, does it? Let's see. So as h goes to zero, r minus h, this will go to r, this will go to r, ah, and the, this term here will go to zero. So what this uh, fraction ends up being is the square root of zero times r divided by r. So this entire fraction will go to zero. And then the final step is figuring out, does this limit sound reasonable for the correct answer? And as you look at this physical setup, I hope you have that intuition that if this step size is smaller, that it will be easier for this wheel to roll over. So, um, so as h goes to zero, the required force going to zero, that should make sense. And that's the approach that I'm saying uh, could get you the answer in, in, in a minute. Uh, I know here with the explanation it didn't, but that's because I was explaining. If I was just doing this in my head without explaining, I could have done it in a minute. And I think I kind of did uh, when we were in the assessment. I chose this as the correct answer um, before the time ran out. I just didn't have time to explain it all before the time ran out. So that is uh, one question that ChatGPT got wrong. So let me mark that before I forget. Correct. All right. And let's look at the remaining questions. Um, so from here, ChatGPT should have gotten two more right and one more wrong, I think, unless I made a mistake somewhere. Now, we'll see. Or I made a mistake in programming the question. That does happen from time to time. So, all right, next question. Um, here, yeah, points to pulley. Oh, this was your lab last week. <laughs> so hopefully that uh, if you got this question, that seems familiar and that helped you. Um, so uh, with F1, uh, it rolls to right. It's a common wrong answer that students give that it will roll to the left because you think, oh, that looks counterclockwise, so it will roll counterclockwise. Um, it's... Um, so I guess the easiest way to get the correct answer is to consider rotation about this point of contact. This pull, it's a clockwise pull, so it'll roll clockwise. And you can also look at the net force relationship. Now, it's an interesting system to analyze, so let me leave it up to you to kind of look through that. The bottom line is ChatGPT's answer is incorrect, and the correct answer is the pulley will roll to the right. Okay, question nine. Also, oh, you must have gotten the remaining two questions right. So yeah, tidal effect and high tides are highest when the yeah aligned on the same side, um, or the exact on the opposite side. But that's not one of the choices, I think. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, correct. And the final question. Inverse of square law. Yeah, this is the kind of question that ChatGPT gets right. Well, like nine out of ten. Yeah, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Yeah, I think that's the kind of question that I was asking ChatGPT before and was uh, impressed and surprised that he was doing well. I was asking it like history of modern physics questions for you know physics for C, and it was doing pretty well, <laughs> which made me concerned, <laughs> which made me do this. 
and uh, yeah, sixty percent. I guess um, so. For a student who's uh, getting sixty percent on these without use of ChatGPT, that's uh, somewhere between B and A. It depends on um, it depends on how well you do other things. Like uh, if you are good at problem solving, you only got lower percentage here because ten minutes is a short amount of time. Then uh, that that would be could be on A, um, yeah, uh, or you know. A basement would be like a good test taker who is just able to guess well. Um, that would be a, someone who's a B student getting 60% on this. Um, and again, if uh, you are using ChatGPT, then uh, it's cheating. I, I think I've set up things in this class this semester where I don't really have to prove that people are cheating. Um, in terms of final outcome being what I need it to be, but um, it's at, at some point it's a matter of your own personal integrity. Um, people who are who develop habits of cutting corners and whatnot, um, that kind of habit is really difficult to break. Um, so, um, so you know, uh, don't develop it. <laughs>